Okay, YouTube, looks like we're back here. I've got this warper dissected, soft parts out of it, and I just wanted to show you. It looks like uh, what we have is a uh, failed tinsel lead setup. Um, once again, um, same exact thing happened to the other woofer about two months ago. Um, and I've been purposely trying to break this one, as you can see how dark, um, how much heat has been uh, induced into the leads from them just having a high resistance. Um, I'm sure in the bottom here in the comment section there's going to be a lot of people who are saying, oh, you don't know what you're doing, you're clipping it, blah, blah, blah. Well, contrary to what some of you might think, um, this is definitely, a defi uh, for sure, definitively, with absolute certainty, unequivocally, a mechanical failure. Um, what happens is, is, you know, you can see the spider uh, assembled here at the triple joint. This particular part of the spider is going to bend much more so than the outer layers, um, as evidenced by... Uh, the condition of these le leads toward the end. Um, even this positive lead, you know, it's, it's frayed. Oops, sorry, it's, it's frayed. Um, you can see that they're starting to get brown. They're, they're, you know, this one's obviously seen a pretty good amount of uh, um, abuse, uh, bending back and forth and whatnot. Um, you know, it's it's going to start to burn through pretty quick uh, if these hadn't. Um, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you why the negative side likes to burn more so than the positive side because it's identical on both woofers. Um, and you can see the leads on the other side of this particular woofer that I just pulled apart. Um, looks like the leads are, eh, they're in fair shape. They're pretty shredded. You can see pieces of them kind of hanging out. They're frayed. Uh, resistance has definitely grown, uh, but they are conductive still to the coil. I want to say there's some kind of an anomaly. Maybe one of the uh, solder joints here had failed. Uh, it does measure 22 ohms. I don't know why. Uh, but the woofer wasn't playing barely any sound at all, so I want to say there's some kind of anomaly in the coil, um, but definitely not a clipping issue here, guys. Um, this will just be literally mechanical wear. You know, metal can only bend back and forth so much. Uh, at some point, the resistance grows, uh, you know, to a point where it can't conduct the amount of power being applied through it, and, well, here you are. Uh, but these took two years of 20 hertz signals, four inches peak-to-peak -peak uh, excursion for many, 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 many of my friends, so I could show them you know, just what these things are capable of and how much they can move. Uh, but, you know, that's definitely not a wise decision. Um, you can see how shiny the coil is on this one. She's a little dark in the middle there. Um, I, like I said, you know, these have seen some pretty serious abuse. Um, this one here, much more so. I purposely tried to kill this one for the last two months. Uh, it finally failed. So, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do on this next build. Uh, excuse the condition of this particular amp here. I bought that one used. It came like that. Uh, the bottom one's pretty minty in comparison. Uh, but they strap well together. Their internals are identical. So I'm happy with the power for the base setup. I uh, just need to come up with something that's going to take all that power a little more. Um, but like I said, you know, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do here. I might go to bigger drivers. I might just switch up to the ZV5s or uh, try out some nightshades or try something different. I couldn't tell you for sure. I've got to think about it. But uh, we'll definitely keep you posted. Uh, so keep an eye out for some new videos here. Uh, we'll see what we can do as far as getting, uh, you know, getting this thing, getting this thing much louder than it already has been. So uh, until then, we'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.